Hello everyone, welcome back to video tutorials on programming Cortex M3 microcontroller LPC1768 using Keel Microvision 5 IDE today. In previous two videos, we have seen execution of assembly level programs. In this lecture, let us go through interfacing of output device LED, that is light emitting diode with LPC1768. Let us open software and create new project. I will create a new folder called LED project in the folder demo which is available on the desktop. Note that there is a slight change in creation of project for executing C or interfacing programs. In case of assembly level program, we had selected only CMSIS and then core in that if you remember. Here we have to select device and tick or check startup. For writing a new program, click on new. Here you people have to write the code and as usual I will paste the copied code. Before, underst before understanding the code, we need to understand interfacing diagram and pin diagram and pin connection details. The figure shows interfacing diagram. Here we are using dedicated I.O. that is so and so pins of so and so port are connected to specific peripheral or I.O. device. So here take a note that our kit has 8 LEDs. And these 8 LEDs are connected to pin 4 to pin 11 of port 0. Also, you should know that the maximum port size is 32 bit. That is P of 0 to P of 31. So now, we shall try to understand the program. So we can see the directive hash include lpc17xx.h following which we have a subroutine written for delay. We are creating a delay through for loop. Then we have main which will be the entry point to our program. So next followed by this is the configuration of pins. So here you are having FIO DIR which means fast input output direction so which is going to set the direction of pins that is logic 1 implies output pin and logic 0 implies input pin. So FIO DIR GPIO 0 cross 5 zeros FF0 will make port 0 pin 4 to pin 11 as logic 1. That is these pins will be made as output pins. Next we have FIO CLR that is fast input output clear. So this is going to clear the pins. That is, in other words, it is going to turn off all the 8 LEDs. Then we have while of one loop. It is an infinite loop which keeps executing the statement inside it again and again forever or till we come out of the execution. In while loop, first instruction is LPC GPIO0 FIO SCT that is general purpose input output port 0 fast input output set. So we are going to make this as 0 cross 5 zeros FF0 
which will send a signal to 8 pins that is P4 to P11 of port 0 and set them. So in other words, it will turn on all 8 LEDs at once. Next, we invoke delay. Unless this delay subroutine is executed, the LEDs remain on. After this, we come across LPC GPIO0 FIO CLR that is fast input output clear. So we are clearing 8 pins P4 to P11 of port 0 thereby turning off the LEDs. Then again invoke delay subroutine. So the LEDs will be off unless delay subroutine is executed. After the delay the loop repeats again and again unless we stop execution. Next before dumping our code to the kit, first let us observe the simulation output in the peripherals. For that, we should build and debug our code. Remember to select use simulator in options for target window, otherwise we cannot enter the debug mode. So we have to select use simulator if we are creating project for first time. Now we are in debug mode. Here, click on Peripherals and select GPIO Fast Interface. Here, select Port 0. So, Port 0 opens and here you can see that this Port 0 is 32 pin wide. So, now run or start the execution and we can see the output at pins P4 to P11 of Port 0. Here, if these pins are ticked, it indicates LEDs will be turned on. And after certain delay, it unticks, which indicates the LEDs will be turned off. Now, we shall see the output in the kit. Note that we will be dumping the X file to the kit. Not our regular program will be dumped. X file will be dumped. For that, we have to create X file. So, in this regards, right click on target. Options for target. Here, you select output and then tick or check. Create X file. Also, click on linker. Select use memory layout from target debug option. So now you build or rebuild the target. Here we can see creating X file. This indicates that X file is being created. Now to dump the program to the kit, connect to any USB port of CPU. Here we will be using one more software tool Flash Magic. Open Flash Magic. We have to select device as LPC1768. If it is automatically selected, ok. If not, search for the device LPC1768. And oscillator frequency will be 12 MHz. Baud rate is usually for computer applications it is 9000. 9600 and we need to select COM. So for that first we have to check for to which COM our USB is connected. For that right click on this PC, select manage, then select device manager. Here you expand ports and note which is USB serial port. So here it is COM4. We can select erase blocks used by X file and verify after programming which are optional. Then select browse, search for your folder. In my case, my project is created in a folder called LED program which is inside a folder demo on the desktop I will be opening that folder so here you can find one more folder called object inside this you can see the X file created with the project name in my case it is LED project dot X I will select it then click start we can see our kit is loaded with the X file. That is, it is being programmed. Later, verifying and then 
finished. After programming is finished, we can observe output in the kit. We can see all 8 LEDs will turn on and after certain delay, all 8 LEDs will turn off. This demand dip continues forever as we have used while of 1. Suppose if we want LEDs to blink for a finite number of times, say 5 times, what we have to do? We have to use for loop instead of while loop. I will write a for loop where m is equal to 0, m less than or equal to 5, m plus plus, that is m is incremented in steps of 1. And I will declare m as an integer. Now we shall build our program and dump it to kit. We can see LEDs will blink only for 5 times and the execution stops on its own. Now we shall try blinking alternate LEDs. So out of 8 LEDs, only 4 LEDs should blink. For that, we have to set only 4 pins of port 0, P11, P9, P7 and P5. For this, we have to make change in the instruction LPCGPIO0 FIO set. So here we have to make it is equal to 0 cross 5 zeros AA0 and clear the same pins after a delay. Since we have used for loop here, these four LEDs will blink for only five times. Let us build our program and dump it again to kit and we can see the output in the kit where only second, fourth, sixth and eighth LED will dim and dip for five times. Next, let us try to blink 4-4 four, four LEDs alternatively for every run. We shall comment for loop and use while of one again and try. If we build and dump the program to the kit, we can see alternative LEDs blink and for next run remaining alternative LEDs blink. So this continues forever as we have used while of one. We can also group first 4 LED and remaining 4 LEDs into 2 groups and blink alternatively. For this, first set first 4 LEDs by using FIO SET 0 cross 6 zeros F0 and clear it after a delay. Again, FIO SET 0 cross 5 zeros F00 and clear the same pins after a delay. So now build and dump the program to the kit. We can see first 4 LEDs turning on and for next turn remaining 4 LEDs blink as we see here. Next we shall try blinking one by one LEDs in series. For this, we shall make use of for loop where for M is equal to 0 cross 6 zeros 1 0 and M less than or equal to 0 cross 5 zeros 8 double 0 and left shift M by one position. So we are going to use this for loop and we are going to set that is F I was set will be equal to M value. So F I was set is equal to M value and after certain delay F I was clear is also equal to M value. Now build the target and dump X5 and we can see the output on the kit wherein LED is turning on one after the other in series from 1st LED to 8th LED.
Next, to blink LED is one by one in opposite direction. That is, from eighth LED to first LED, we have to reverse initial condition and exit condition in for loop. That is, for m equal to zero cross five zeros eight double zero. And m greater than or equal to zero cross six zeros one zero, right shift m by one position. So with this change, save the program, build the target, and dump it to kit. And we can see the output on the kit, wherein LEDs turn on in series from eighth LED to the first LED. Next, we shall combine our previous two runs in a single program, wherein we will be using two for loops inside a while loop, as we can see over here. So, with this change, save the program, build the target, and dump it to the kit, and we can see the output. Next, with the same program, if we are going to reduce the delay, we can see an output as we are seeing here. So there will be fast transitions. Lastly, we can configure eight LEDs as up counter, wherein we can count from 0 cross 00, 00 to 0 cross FM. For this, we have to make change in for loop where initial condition is M is equal to 0 cross 6 zeros 10 zero, and exit condition is 0 cross 5 zeros FF0 and M will be incremented by 16 times. That is M is equal to M plus 16. So with this change, save the program, build the target and dump the X file to the kit. We will see LEDs display 2 to the power of 8 that is 256 combinations. So starting from decimal value 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 255 and it stops. We can also configure these 8 LEDs as down counter counting from 255 down to 0. Take it as an activity and try it. It will be fun. So in today's tutorial, we have understood how to interface 8 LEDs with LPC1768 kit and have made them to blink in various combinations. That's all for this video. We shall meet in next video where we shall display a message using a UART communication interface. Thank you.